you lovely people and welcome to the first Q&A on my channel. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so Dragonbugs ask, what's your favourite Doctor Who Christmas special? I'm going to have to say twice upon a time for that one. What's your favourite Sonic Screwdriver? I'll go for the third Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I've always loved that one. What do you think the best Dalek design is? My favourite Dalek design would have to be the Daleks from the evil of the Daleks and actually the guard Daleks, the Daleks with the black domes and the blue hemispheres and the silver body parts. I really think they're the best uh, in my opinion. What Doctor Who alien would you like to make another appearance in the future of Doctor Who? I would have to say the Sea Devils for this one because I would love to see the Sea Devils used in a really scary gothic way. Um, imagine, you know, how scared we are of being in the sea because of sharks, because of jaws. Well, imagine the thought of a sea devil, you know, pulling you down underneath the water and, and, and drowning you. I think that would be really, really good. A bit sadistic. What is your favourite Doctor Who series, including classic and new series? My favourite series from the classic series has to go to the very first season of Tom Baker's run. Um, I simply love every single story and will never ever get bored of watching those. It annoys me so much that I missed out on the Blu-ray uh, that they released recently for that and I refuse to pay £500 for, for one set of Blu-ray DVDs. And for the new series, I'm going to go for season four. That's the season with David Tennant and Catherine Tate. I think they really work well together, and the build-up to the finale was just fantastic, in my opinion. And some really good standalone stories, mentioning ones like The Fires of Pompeii, for example. I mean, definitely my favourite series of the new series, season four. Okay, so the ultimate Whovian asked, what is your favourite piece of Doctor Who merchandise in your whole collection? So this is a really tough question, and I've taken a lot of time and thought about this one, but I've come up with this. This Doctor Who book, which I don't think I've ever shown you in my collection before, is my favourite piece of merchandise, simply because it has been signed by all the Doctors from Doctor 4 to Doctor 8. I managed to meet them all at Collectomania some years ago. So yeah, definitely this book. I mean, if you've got this book already, it's worth picking up anyway, because it's an interesting book. But the fact that I've had it signed by so many people, heaven forbid if there was ever a fire in my house, I would literally go for this and take this with me. And that would be the thing I would save as well. So this Time Lord 97 asks, out of all the Daleks in your collection, what is your favourite? Now that is another tough question because I have so many Daleks to choose from, but I'm going to go with one of these Daleks. It is the Cancer Research Dalek produced by Daypol. Now the reason why this Dalek would be my favourite is simply because the company, Daypol, that produced this Dalek were donating money for every sale they made to Cancer Research, which as we all know is an amazing charity and is helping save lives still to this day. And the other reason, when will you ever see a purple Dalek? I mean, that's pretty cool, right? And have I read any Doctor Who books? Well, to be honest, I'm not much of a reader. I do have a pretty big library of Doctor Who books, but the only ones I've really read are a very few select ones from the BBC range that were released like back in the late 90s and early 2000s. I couldn't tell you the titles of the ones I've read because it was such a long time ago, I really don't remember, but like I say, I'm not much of a big reader. It's something that I really want to do when I find the time. So Terry W asks, if I had a party, which two Doctors would I invite? Now that's really quite an interesting question there. Um, I'm going to go for the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton, and the third Doctor, Jean Pertouille, because I think they, like, gelled so well. Gel guard, get it? I think they gelled so well in the three Doctors, the dandy and the clown type thing, and I would really like to experience that firsthand, and I think where else would a better place to be than at a party? Aliens versus Daleks, who would win? I would say the alien would probably give the Daleks a really good run for their money, but eventually those damn pepper pots that we love so much would win, so I would back the Daleks for that one. So Cyberdrone asks, what is the best or worst Doctor Who bootleg toys you've ever seen over the years? I would have to say one of these Daleks that I saw online a long time ago was definitely bootlegged. It was a hearts plastic Dalek, and there was discussions whether it was real or not, and I think eventually it was proven to be fake. And I'll be honest with you, anything like that, unless it's like a, a custom that's known to be a custom, then bootlegs are not cool. Um, they ruin the toy industry and any other industry, I suppose. But yeah, again, I haven't come across many, which is good, but that Dalek always does uh, stick in my mind. I think it like, was selling for like over a thousand pounds at one point, which is kind of crazy. So the Doctor Who guide asks, how did I get into making Doctor Who videos? Well, 
I've been collecting Doctor Who stuff since I was like four years old, so a very long time now, and when I decided that I'd like to share my collection with people, I thought, what better way of doing it than uploading a video? And at the time, you know, just over 10 years ago, YouTube was becoming a more and more popular platform and a way of doing so, so I figured, hell, I'll buy a cheap camera, which I've still got, and I'll upload some videos and see what happens, and that's where we are today, so that's really how I got into it. He also goes on to ask, you get to write an episode and need to choose two doctors and one companion each to meet up and fight a villain of your choice. You can choose any pairing. Who do I choose? That's a really cool question. I'm going to have to go for the first doctor, William Hartnell, and their companion would be Sarah Jane Smith. And the second doctor would be the seventh doctor, Sylvester McCoy, and his companion would be Jamie, and they would be fighting against the master, all the incarnations of the master in a massive kind of crazy timey-wimey plot twist. I think that would be really good fun to watch. What piece of merchandise means the most to me? Again, like I mentioned before, it would definitely have to be this book here. Um, like I mentioned, it is just everything to me. As far as I'm concerned, this is my Doctor Who collection right here, this book. If you could swap a Doctor for Tom Baker in season 13, who would it be? I would probably say the second Doctor, I would love to see him pit himself against the likes of the Zygons from Terror of the Zygons and the Crinoid from the Seeds of Doom, I think that would be amazing, I think that would work really well. Okay, so that seems to be all the questions for now, I hope I haven't missed anybody out, if I do I do apologise. I really enjoyed doing this Q&A and I will look to doing another one again, you know, perhaps in a few months. Um, so when I decided to do the next Q&A I will then drop another video explaining, you know, drop me some questions and whatnot and uh, I'll start doing it um, again because I've really enjoyed doing it. So, so until then, take care of each other and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!